Eric, I want to start with a headline you've probably seen over the past 24 hours, and it's the updated outlook for this hurricane season. NOAA released their numbers yesterday, and they increased their numbers about 25% overall. So they're calling now for 14 to 21 named storms. They also increased, they really doubled our chance of seeing an above average season. The reason for that is because of how hot the waters have been. The uh, experts out there are looking at the waters all the way from the Gulf through the Caribbean and into the Atlantic all across the Atlantic and everywhere is running above average. And typically when we have an above average uh, water temperature like we do now across the entire basin, we usually have a more active season. Now there's a flip side to this and there's a tug of war this year and it's El Nino. Typically when we have El Nino like we do now, hurricane season is less active. So the big question right now and the experts are trying to figure out and iron out the detail of which one of those is going to win out. Looking long term, it looks like the wind shear may be a little bit less as we head into the peak of the season. And with these warm temperatures, we may see things really start to light up in the next couple of weeks. And of course, heading into September when we see most of the activity. So that's their current thinking on why we're going to see an active season. Now, things are dead quiet. You may be thinking what active season? We haven't seen a storm all August and you're right. It hasn't been that active yet. We've seen the Gulf, the Caribbean are currently quiet. There's a lot of Saharan dust. There's actually a big plume of dust coming out here, but some models do show the open waters of the Atlantic waking up in about seven to 10 days. Either way, we don't have any threats here locally at the moment. Now, while we are in August, early August sometimes is fairly inactive, just as inactive as maybe late October. It's really mid to late August when we see our biggest increase of activity and then you could see September is the month where we usually see the bulk of activity. And just because you have a quiet August doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the season is going to be quiet. Last year is the prime example. Each column is a month. Last year, July and August, there was hardly anything that happened. We got to September, literally a flip of the switch and look how active things got. We had Ian last September that devastated Southwest Florida. November and October were also busy. So just because you have a quiet early season doesn't always necessarily mean the back end is going to be quiet. And last year was a prime example of that. So we'll see what the rest of the season holds. We hope it's inactive, but this record water temperature out there, it's really got a lot of our forecasters attention. Unfortunately, our heat wave is not going to help out with that. We are still in the thick of our historic heat wave 101 today. That's a record 100 tomorrow, 100 Sunday. So records are possible there. And then next week, some slight relief as we get